What's going on, bro? What's your name? Uh, Eric. Eric. Yeah. So, Eric, I want to understand. So, are you using Romans 2? That's Romans 2 and 28? 28, yeah. Romans 2 and 28. Are you using that to say that anybody can be a Jew? Yes. That's incorrect. Uh, what's it called? You could be uh, born again. Um, born again? Jew. Eric. Uh, listen, uh, listen, uh, Eric. Uh, was it grafted in? Okay, now we getting somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where did you learn that at? The Bible. No, you didn't. That's Christianity. We gonna okay. go to that and we gonna explain it for you. Hold Give on, me Romans two and twenty eight. Eric, wait, 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 wait. Eric. Outside of this. Wait, wait, wait. Outside of this, my wife is at home, so I'm about to get in trouble. I don't want those problems. Neither do you. So, uh, Eric, I'm not, I'm hold on. Five minutes. Okay, and, that's okay. fine. That's fine. I just gotta set a standard. Cause but when you say something, you have to give us a chance to answer. Okay, got you. Are you in the first five seconds of the video? Go ahead, like and subscribe. The Jews. Right. The ones over there? Yes, the, give me that. It's in the Bible. Revelation. The, the, the ones in the uh, Middle East? The ones in uh, Palestine over there in Israel? Yes, those are not the Jews. The real Jews are in captivity here today. That's right. Get out. Get out. Give me that. Read that. The book of Revelation, chapter 2, and verse 9. Here, listen yeah, to this. So We're going to prove hey, it. Hey, hey. So if you're not a Jew, you won't get to heaven? I'm going to prove it. Read it. I'm the book of Revelation, time. chapter 1, and verse 9. You got a lot of time? Give me Acts 5. Give me Acts 5. We're going to prove to you that salvation is only for the Israelites. That's Christ right. only came for the Israelites. That's and that's right. you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You are the Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. You got what I want? It's the book of Acts, chapter 5, verse 31. Read. Him hath God exalted with his right hand to right. be a prince and a savior uh -huh. or to give repentance to Israel. To who? To Israel. To who? To Israel. There's no salvation for any other nation on the earth. Right. Only Israel is promised salvation. Give me Romans 9. Give me Romans 9. We're going we to read Romans. Everybody like Romans, right? Let's read Romans 9. Verse, start at verse uh, 3. It's the book of Romans chapter 9 and verse 3. Three. Verse 3. For I wish that myself were accursed from Christ. For my brethren. For his my brethren. His brethren. He's going to explain who his brethren is. Read. My kinsmen. Kinsmen. What does kinsmen mean? People. It means that someone that's close blood relative. Yeah. All of us here, we're close blood relatives. We're the same nation of people. It doesn't mean all people. Okay. Read. My kinsmen according to the flesh. So he double downs on it and tells you that it's according to the flesh. The same blood type wait, wait, of people. Wait, wait. That's according right. to the flesh? According to the flesh. But then in Romans 2 it says, No one is a Jew who is merely one outwardly, uh -huh. nor is circumcision outward and physical, but a Jew is one inwardly. So let me ask you a question. And circumcision is a matter a of the heart. Let me ask you a question. Can by you, the Spirit, can not you, by the letter, can, can what is that? Praise is not from man, but from God. Okay, so you saying that I can magically turn myself into an Edomite? Uh, I, Edomite meaning like somebody. A so called Gentile. white man. You're saying I can turn into a white man, right? Gentile. So I can just say, hey, I'm white, right? Um, it depends. That's how that work? Is that how that work? A Jew is not one, it's not outward, it's inward. God doesn't look at that. What is it? He looks at the heart, right? right? Wouldn't you say that? What's going on, bro? What's your name? Uh, Eric. Eric. Yeah. So, Eric, I want to understand. So, are you using Romans 2? That's Romans 2 and 28? 28, 28 yeah. Romans 2 and 28. Are you using that to say that anybody can be a Jew? Yes. That's incorrect. Uh, what's it called? You could be uh, born again. Um, born again? Spiritual Jew. Eric. Uh, listen, uh, listen, uh, Eric. Uh, was it grafted in? Okay. Grafted in? Now we getting somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Where did you learn that at? The Bible. No, you didn't. That's Christianity. We're going to go to that and we're going to explain it for you. Hold Give on, me hold Romans on. 2 and 28. Hold, 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 wait, wait, Eric, wait. wait, wait, wait. Eric. Outside of this. Wait, wait, wait. Outside of this. My wife is at home, so I'm about to get in trouble. I don't want those problems. Neither do you. So, uh, Eric, I'm not, I'm hold on. Give you five minutes. Okay, and, that's okay. fine. That's fine. I just got to set a standard. Cause but when you say something, you have to give us a chance to answer. Okay, got you. So, let's read Romans 2 and 28. It's the book of Romans chapter 2 and verse 28. For he is not a Jew, which is one outwardly. Uh -huh. Neither is that circumcision, which is outward in the flesh. Uh -huh. But he is a Jew, which is one inwardly. Uh -huh. And circumcision is that of the heart, uh -huh. in the spirit, and not in the letter, 
whose praise is not of men, but of God. So, let me answer. Let's get the understanding. In Christianity, they twist and turn scriptures and say that the scriptures mean all nations can come in. All nations can come into the fold. We're going to deal with this one step at a time. Let's get the understanding of this verse. Read it again. We're going to break it down piece by piece. Read. Book of Romans chapter 2 verse 28. Uh -huh. For he is not a Jew, which is one outwardly. Stop. Eric, are you familiar with who wrote this? Who wrote this? Paul. That was Paul. What was Paul's nationality? Uh, Jewish or Hebrew. Paul was a Jew, an Israelite from the tribe of Benjamin. That's yes. right. He wrote this letter because Romans is not really a book. It's technically a letter he wrote to the Jews that were in Rome. Yeah. So, when he made this statement, read it one more time. For he is not a Jew, which is one outwardly. He is not a Jew, which is one outwardly. So I want to ask you, Eric, do you know any history? Yeah. What men were professing themselves to be Jews outwardly? I'm going to leave you with that. Uh, if you don't know, just say you don't know. I don't know. Give me Matthew 23 and verse 23. It, it was the scribes and oh, Pharisees. Oh, the, uh, scribes and Pharisees. The, uh, what about the half-breeds? The half-breeds yeah. referring to who? Uh, what were they called? Samaritans. Those were not half-breeds. That was the northern kingdom of Israel. Teach. The other nine tribes. Okay. So, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. one thing wait, at a wait, time. Wait, Eric. Wait, wait. Cut to, Eric. Wait, wait, wait. I got to cut to the chase. How do... How does a person get to heaven? Okay, we can answer that. Okay. But we can't jump from question to question. You ask a question, and then when we answer, you jump to something oh, else. Romans, the so, Romans 2.28, right? Wait, right. Read that. The book of Matthew, chapter 23, and verse 23. These were the men who were professing themselves to be Jews outwardly, but not inwardly. Read that. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites. Why? Ye pay tithe of mint and anise and cumin, and have omitted the weightier matters of the law. Uh -huh. Judgment, mercy, and faith. These are ye have to done, and not to leave the other undone. Uh -huh. Ye blind guides, uh -huh. which strain at a gnat and swallow a camel. What was Christ saying? They walked around and put on the act like they was righteous. Yeah. But behind closed doors, they were evil. Yeah, Teach. Right. They were not keeping God's laws. That's why I go back to Romans 2 and 28. That's why, Eric, we got to get rid of Christianity. At one time... I believe a little bit of that. I thought that Christianity was the right way, but they have been teaching our people, the Hispanics, the Bible the wrong way. Right. This is your book. Nobody can teach this book to you but your people, because your people had to understand it. Bring it down. Read that. Romans chapter 2, verse 28. For he is not a Jew, which is one outwardly. So Paul said, you're not a Jew just because you outwardly profess it. Read. Neither is that circumcision which is outward in the flesh. He said, neither is circumcision which is outward in the flesh. He's not talking about you don't get circumcised because that's a law in the Bible, right? Abraham got circumcised. God gave him that covenant. Moses brought it back in Leviticus 12 and told us to circumcise our sons. So we wait. 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 I'm not finished, Eric. We're not going to interrupt each other. We're not going to interrupt each other or jump. One thing at a time. We got a few minutes. So, if you have to leave, Eric, that's fine. Okay. But I cannot allow this wrong understanding to be taught to my people. Okay. I cannot. So, he's not saying don't get circumcised. He's saying inwardly you must be circumcised. Your mind must change. Read on. <clears throat> but he is a Jew which is one inwardly. Uh -huh. And circumcision is that of the heart uh -huh. in the spirit and not in the letter. Not in the letter. What's the letter? The law. The law? Who? Uh, the first five books of the Bible? Correct. That's not saying not keep the commandments. Yeah. That's saying we no longer keep sacrifice. Now, let's go to Deuteronomy 10 and 16. We finna see what is it talking about? It said circumcision is not of the flesh but of the heart. He said circumcise your mind. Your mind must change. Don't we got a lot of people in church today saying they know God, they running up here to and fro, they passing out food, doing all of these things, but they are not keeping God's commandments. That's right. So you must actually be keeping the law. Uh, my timer went off. Read. The book of Deuteronomy chapter Again, 10. Hold on. Eric, my if you have to off. leave, bro, that's fine. 
but we are going to teach our people the correct understanding of this scripture. Let's read that, and then we're going to talk about how do you get into heaven. How long, read. Wait, wait, how long this is the book take? of Deuteronomy. That, that doesn't take long, but you said you don't have time. Read. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 16. Uh -huh. Circumcise therefore the foreskin of your heart, uh -huh. and be no more stiff-necked. For the Lord your God is God of gods. So, I'm getting to the point. When Paul says circumcise your heart, he meant change your mind. Right. You cannot get a knife and circumcise your brain. He's saying change your mind. The mindset has to change. You Read can say you love God all you want, but if you do not do what he says, you are a liar. Teach. That's right. Now, how do we get into heaven? How do we get into heaven? We go, we go to church, they tell us if I pass out some food, if I follow Ash Wednesday, I'll get into heaven. What does the Bible say? We're going to go to the Son of God. Read. Now, There's Eric, a... we're going to go to Jesus. He's going to tell us how to get into heaven. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Read. There's a book of Matthew. Whatever, chapter... whatever name you find with. Read. The book of Matthew, chapter 19, and verse 16. Uh -huh. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master. What good things shall I do that I may have eternal life? Now, this is a question that we all ask. Am I right or am I wrong? We all ask, how do we get into heaven? Everybody want to go. But are you willing to do what is required for you to get into heaven? Yeah. That's the question. Read. And he said unto him, why callest thou me good? There is none good but one. So he said, don't call me good. There is no good but one. Christ always gave glory to the Father. That's right. Read. That is God. But if thou wilt enter into life, here we go. You want to get into heaven, that's how you get in there. You should be all ears. Bring it up. If you want to get into heaven, this is how. Read. Keep the commandment. It's plain as day. It's simple. Keep the commandment. That's, right. that's how you get into heaven. Right. Now, I'm going to bring the brother back. Any further questions he gonna deal with it. But we had to we had to address that because that's false teaching. Do you realize when you tell people they don't have to keep God's laws no more, you call chaos and destruction. That's why brothers around sleeping with other men's wives, robbing, stealing. You telling people in the church they don't have to keep God's laws. One of the ten that everybody talk about is thou shall not kill. Right. You have millions of our people thinking they don't have to keep that. Jeez. Think about how detrimental that is. Right. But I'm going to give it back to the brother. Yeah, finish up. Alright, all praises to the most high. So did you understand about the Romans that he brought out? Uh, he jumped around too much. Okay, well that's how the Bible commands us to teach the Bible, okay? Uh, Precept must be upon precept. Right. So, what he was saying is that we have to keep the laws of God. Without the laws of God, we are a lost people. We actually show hatred more towards each other than we do any other nation. Bring it Give out. me Hosea 4 and 1. Bring it out. Give me Hosea 4 and 1. I'm going to show you. Because what you got, uh, 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 what gangs they got here? They got, uh, 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 huh? 2-6. Two six. Two six. They got GDs, Vice Lords, all that other stuff. Uh, what is the uh, Instacar gang? What are they called? Uh, Latin Kings. Hold on, wait. Watch this. We're going we're gonna to show you, according to the Bible, why these things happen. Read. Give me, give me that. Read. This is the book of Hosea, chapter 4 and verse 6. Read. My people are destroyed. Oh, for verse 1. Verse 1. Uh, um, Hosea 4 and 1. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. For the Lord hath a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. Verse 2. Verse 2. By swearing, by swearing, and, by lying, read, by, and lying, and lying, and read, killing, and killing, and do stealing. Do we not kill each other on the daily? Do we not fight over blocks that we don't own? Oh, this out. is every day. Bring it out. You fighting over streets that you have no ownership over. Teach. This is my block. I run this. No, you don't. The white man run this block. Bring it out. You don't run anything. Bring Why? Because you don't keep the laws of God. Read. Right. And stealing. And stealing. Everything that was a what do we do? When we ain't got the money, what are we gonna do? We're gonna steal it. Why? Because we have no fear of God. That's Read right. Out. Read. And committing adultery. That's a big thing in the black and Hispanic communities. Sleeping with other men's wives, sleeping with sisters, leaving them with babies. That's what we are known for. 
Give me that in uh, Proverbs and the Bible. Give me that. Those are the things that we are known for. Bring it out. All right. We are known for doing these evil acts against the Most High God. Give me that. You got what I want? Uh, this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 37. Read. And thou shalt become an astonishment. An astonishment. Me the damn. Look at them over there. Look at them over there. That's how all the nations look at us. They don't look at us as royalty. They look at us as slaves, because that's what we are to this day. We serving them. Read. A proverb and a byword. A proverb and a byword. You want to hide anything from a Negro, where do you put it? In a book. These are proverbs and byword that we are known for in the black and Hispanic communities. Read. Among all nations, where the Lord shall lead thee. Read, read again. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations where the Lord shall lead thee. Among all nations, no matter where you go, if you get a black and Hispanic that go there, they got a name for you. Okay? They got a name for you. But why? Why? Give me Jeremiah 5 and 25. Give me Jeremiah 5 and 25. Because we don't want to keep the laws of God. The laws of God are not hard to keep. But because we don't keep the laws of God, this is what happens. Give me that. Jeremiah 5 and 25. It's the book of Jeremiah, chapter 5, verse 25. Read. Your iniquities have turned away these things. Your iniquities have turned away the kingdom of God. We are not in the kingdom of God because of our iniquities today. Teach. Read. And your sins have withholden good things from you. The good thing is the land of Israel. We don't have that. We over here serving our enemies. This is prison. We serving a time sentence. And guess what? Out of this prison, only one third are going to get out. Some of us love it here. Some of us love being on the bottom. I ain't got no problem being on the bottom. As long as I can get my little money, get a little weed and smoke it, I'm good. That's how a lot of us are. A lot of us don't want to return back to the ruling nation that we were. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling, these are how our men repented at heart, the scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth. <laughs>